What's going on everybody and welcome back to Tech Cubed and today we are going to be installing Linux Mint into a VirtualBox virtual machine. Now Linux Mint is a pretty basic version of Linux. However, it is a great distro to get into if you are just starting to use Linux. So this will be a pretty quick-ish tutorial. I'm going to try and explain everything as best I can. Uh, tutorial we're going to get everything set up and uh, basically get to the point where you can use it as even as a everyday um, operating system even though it's going to be in a virtual machine um, even though if you're going to use it every day it's best to of course install it on it, like dual booted or something like that um, so without further ado, let's get started. So of course, as per usual, you're going to need a couple things. Uh, first off, of course, you're going to need VirtualBox. This is what we're going to be using to install Linux Mint. And another thing you are, of course, going to want to have is a Linux <laughs> Mint ISO. Now, I will leave links to everything in the description below. However, um, you're going to go to the website, and I have Linux Mint Cinnamon. Now, there are a couple different versions of Linux Mint you can get. Um, however, this is just a basic version of Linux Mint. So you can, the installation process for all of them is pretty much the same. However, you can take a look around and see the different versions if you would like. Um, so now we are going to run through how to get it set up. So first thing you're going to want to do is open up your VirtualBox and come to New. And then I'm going to set my custom machine folder, and I'm going to call it uh, Linux Mint, of course. Um, but now I type Linux, and it automatically set to Ubuntu. Now, of course, the type doesn't really matter that much. Um, you can set it to whatever. I mean, I could set it to this or even this. Um, I mean, I I mean, I mean, kind of like the icon of it. I think it would look nice with the, all the Aerolink things. So I'll just use that, e even though uh, Aerolink 64-bit. Uh, make sure it's set to 64-bit, though. That's like the main thing you're going to want to do. It doesn't matter that much otherwise. Um, now, for the memory, um, you are most likely going to want 4 to 8 gigs. Now, if you're on a lower-end machine, then usually 4. However, I'm going to use 8 gigs. Um, and this will do very good running Linux Mint. Um, and then, of course, we're going to create virtual hard disk now. Create. And uh, keep in mind, of course, um, I am using the expert mode. So this little bu uh, uh, button right here that if you click it, um, it says expert and guided mode. I am on expert mode. Um, this process for installation um, is pretty much the same. However, um, it's more complex I guess you can say on expert mode however it just lays everything out and I prefer to use it however it's pretty much the same on all of these it just sort of walks you through everything a little bit more on guided mode um, and use VDI uh, dynamically allocated now for the storage um, you're not going to need that much for Linux Mint I would say you can easily get away with 64 gigs um, now you can go 128 if you want, um, but 64 is going to be more than enough. You'll easily be able to get by on just, uh, 64 gigs of memory. Um, and then click create. And now we have Linux Mint right here. I'm going to move it up, um, so it goes with all my other, uh, Linuxes, uh, Linux, uh, virtual machines. And now we're going to go on come into settings and we're going to change a couple things. So first off, we are going to change processor. And we're going to set it to 2. Now this is something I always do because it's not that good on more modern uh, distros and even operating systems in general to have one. Um, even some you're going to want to have like 4 or more. But for something like this, uh, Linux Mint 2, way more than enough. It'll run pretty well. Uh, video memory, um, I'm going to set that to the max. Video memory, I don't know why it's set so low. Um, it'll run on not much video memory, but it, it, for this... If you want to make the experience better, just set it to 128. It'll be much better that way. Um, and, of course, for storage, the last thing we're going to want to do is want to come down here. And now this is the most important part of this is where we're going to use our ISO. Come down here to empty. Click the little disk and choose disk file and find that Linux Mint ISO. It's most likely going to be in your downloads folder. However, I have a separate folder where I keep my um, ISOs. Uh, so you're going to want to click that right there, uh, Linux Mint. Um, okay, and then we are ready to start it up. Now this will take a couple seconds depending on your uh, configuration of uh, already start up. Now you may or may not get this message right here, a startup disk. Um, this is basically, if you didn't go to settings and set the startup disk or the ISO, 
um, then you would set it right here. However, we already did, so we can just click X and get rid of these little messages around here, and it will start up just normally. Um, and of course, capture it, um, which is clicking and pressing capture, and just uh, enter to start in a uh, regular Linux uh, installation. Um, now you'll get like this little uh, Linux Mint logo, and the installation will begin shortly. Now, um, it said error right there. However, don't worry, it goes through its little process and you may get those little error messages. Um, okay, so now this is pretty unique about Linux Mint that I uh, want to talk about for a second. That a lot of operating systems, when you go to install them, um, or just start them up for the first time, whether you're going to install them or not, the, you'll get to like a certain page and it'll be like, you can test it out on a, uh, I think like a live CD or something. And then you can choose to install it later if you like it or whatnot. Um, but here, it automatically boots you into this right here. And then you can kind of explore everything if you want to. But uh, we're just going to click uh, Install Linux Mint. And then Install. Of course, we're going to use English. Uh, continue English, English US, of course. Um, and then the Multimedia Codex. Now, this is optional. Um, I like to do the optional multimedia codecs if you want. Um, now, some people may not have a use for them. However, I really like to do it. It's up to you. Um, I'm just going to do it anyway. It's Again, it's completely up to you. It, it Some people will need it. Some people won't. It really depends on your situation. Like, if you're going to use, um, I guess, video editing and things like that, then you're probably going to want it. But if you're really not then maybe not, then maybe you don't want it, uh, but anyway, we're going to erase disk and install Linux Mint, and install now, uh, install continue, now where it says changes will be written to disk and whatnot, this isn't your whole disk, this is the separate allocated amount that we set, um, that the virtual machine can use, we're not deleting anything off our, um, hard drive or our solid state drive. Um, nothing's being deleted. This is its own uh, separate little partition that it's using. And it's like, oh, well, raise everything off there. Um, it, you, it won't. It, it, you're okay. Um, and now for the name, of course, I'm just going to do uh, the channel name, uh, Tech Cubed. Um, the computer name, now it knows we're in VirtualBox. We can just uh, do that. Um, I'll just put Tech Cubed, though. Uh, password, I don't need a password on here, if I'm being honest. A short password, yeah, I know. Um, just locking automatically. I don't have much need for a password on virtual machines. Um, okay, now the installation will begin. It'll take some time depending on your situation. Um, if you have a more lower end machine, then it may take longer. If you have a higher end machine, it may uh, be a little quicker. However, I will be back when it finishes. Okay, so we're back and the installation has finished and it gives you the option to continue testing Linux Mint or we can just go ahead and restart the machine now. So I will click restart. Now you can continue testing if you want, but there's not really a point to at this at this this moment because uh, it's already installed and everything's already ready to go. Um, so I'm just going to click restart, and now it's going to ask us to remove the installation medium. Now this is probably where a lot of people get confused. So you're gonna uncapture, which for me on Windows is the right control. And then you're going to want to come to uh, Devices, Optical Drives, and then you're going to want to make sure that this happens sometimes, but basically you're going to want to make sure that there's no installation media in here. Now this happens for some people, and then other times it may not, um, but you basically want to make sure that it does nothing in here. Sometimes it automatically ejects, sometimes it doesn't. I've had both in my experience. Just make sure there's no installation media in there, and then you can press Enter. Okay, now Linux Mint will start up, and then we will be able to get to the home screen, and then we could basically, uh, we're ready to go once we get to the home screen. So, I will be right back when it finishes loading. Okay, so we're at the home screen now, everything is finished loading, everything is set up, and it is ready to go. However, there's a couple things that we're going to want to do before um, we start using this uh, virtual machine regularly. 
um, or use it for any uh, regular tasks. Um, and that is, of course, we want to get it to run at 16 by 9 aspect ratio, um, which means that it'll go full screen and use up all of the screen real estate we have available to us that's not being used up at the moment. So what we're going to want to do um, is go to Devices, Insert Guest Edition CD Image, and now it'll pop up right here, um, okay, and then we can run it. It gives us that option. Um, I will put in my password, and then it'll run through its little installation process, and then we can restart, and it'll run properly. So it'll, um, installing additional modules, it may take a while. So, um, just, we will be right back when it's done. Okay, so it's finished. The system is restarted. That's what it says there, and then we press return to close this window, and now we will restart our virtual machine, and then once that's done, it'll run in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Okay, so the machine just restarted, and now as you can see, it's running in a, a 1920 by 1080 aspect ratio, and now everything is all good, so you can start using it the way uh, you wanted to use it from the beginning, uh, whatever that is. Linux has many different uses, and it's really up to you, because there's so much you can do with this. And I just I hope you enjoyed this video today. Um, I will see you all in the next video. Tech Cubed, over and out.